Salutations everyone and welcome to my for glory guide for Samus. Space pirates beware, this hunter is coming for that bounty. And Samus, kind of like Link, one of those super popular Nintendo characters that hasn't always been given, you know, the fairest treatment when it comes to competitive viability within the Smash franchise. Samus being bottom tier in every single Smash iteration outside of Melee, where she was only C tier, but nonetheless not bottom tier. And according to Zakurai and the team, Samus was the strongest character during testing in this game. And I don't. I really would be curious to see how that Samus played. What was that kind of Samus like? Um, I don't believe them that she was the strongest character because you know they aren't competitive Smash characters. You know they weren't. They aren't able to give the full potential of a character that they can. You know during testing like. You know, someone else would like Mewtwo King or, or Zero or you know Esam or Nairo, someone who can really figure out the meta game and you know figure out like you know some crazy punishes or some things that are completely imbalanced or stuff like that. But apparently, she was at least better than she is here now. So it would be very interesting to see what that character was like because I'm sorry if you're a Samus fan, but I definitely have to consider her bottom tier in this game. No one likes to hear that about their character, and everyone's always going to give, you know, the age-old argument that, oh, you just got to learn how to use them right, blah, blah, blah. Every character is top tier, no one's bottom tier, you, you just, it's all that skill that matters, but, I mean, come on, guys. If every character was top tier, then, you know, this, this game would be just super weird. Characters have to be different, and some characters are going to be better than others. And Samus just has way too many weaknesses and exploits... Um, you know, to, to to be super competitive. You don't see her very often in Smash 4 competitive, especially outside of Esam, who still doesn't use her all the time, mostly as like a Luigi counter, since Luigi has problems uh, uh, approaching, and Samus can just space him out with her Zare and her missiles. So she's not completely useless, and it's not like nobody uses her in competitive. But she still, I would have to say, is toward the bottom of the roster when it comes to competitive viability. Because she, while she does have some awesome tools, every character has good tools. She's got the charge shot, she's got the missiles and the Zare for, you know, to keep her opponent at bay. She's a keep away character. She's tied for sixth heaviest in the game with Bowser Jr. But she's also a floaty, so that kind of makes her, you know, more combos are going to be working against her. Um, because of her weight and her floatiness, she'll be able to get out of some combos, but on other uh, combos and, you know, just straight up links and chains, uh, she's going to be absolute food for people. She has no options returning back down from the air. Her down air is too slow, her nair doesn't have a huge hitbox, and, you know, her, her down B doesn't change her momentum all that much. I get destroyed by that hammer there. First time I've ever seen a Kirby land that hammer, but that was just a, just a straight up mistake on my part right there. Um, her Zare is, you know, while good for you know getting back to the ledge and you know spacing your opponent, as a grab like most other tethers is just super duper laggy. Um, it doesn't become active until the 16th frame. If you miss on a grab, it's going to be a guaranteed punish whatever your opponent basically wants to do because there's just so much lag with that Zare. If you can land the, 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 the grab, you know, down throw, amazing, combo that into fair or up air depending on your opponent percentage in DI. Um, it's also not weight dependent her down throw so it'll work on the entire cast pretty much no matter what. You just gotta make sure to get your jump height right or learn the DI. Her up special screw attack is fantastic. It's a kill move now. Very, very good. Very strong. You know, not the earliest kill option in the game. You're still gonna have to get, unless they're a super light opponent, you know, like Kirby, Jigglypuff, Mewtwo, uh, Game & Watch and the like. You're gonna have to get your opponent 1, 100, 110 with, you know, a stage 2 of rage, you know, at the least. But it's still very strong, a great out of shield option, and easy to get people. Um, since Samus is so floaty, you can throw out those up airs, bait out an air dodge, or force your opponent to make a different uh, mistake, and then you can catch them with the screw attack or a charge shot. You know, if they're off stage and uh, you know they're at you know pretty good kill percent, so charge shot, a uh, very very good. You know, she doesn't have a lot of kill options. Her smash attacks are very very weak. Um, her forward smash needs to be sweet spot to kill. It's basically like. You need to tipper it like Marth's, although it's not going to be as strong and it's going to be harder to tipper because you have to sweet spot it right in front of the barrel 
on the explosion. You know, it's not like, you know, Mario's where you just got to hit any part of the explosion. You can tilt it like Mario's, um, but, you know, you have to sweet spot it, as you can see, uh, against that Mewtwo right there to get any kills out of it. If you sour spot with it, you're pretty much never going to get a kill. And White Mewtwo can't jump. Get the first kill right there. So the smash attacks are, 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 have, leave a lot to be desired. Up smash, while it was quote unquote buffed in the last patch, um, it's still kind of bad. You have to chain link all of those hits um, to get the most out of it. It's very punishable if you miss. It can kill, but if you catch, you catch your opponent in the right spot, um, you have to be able to get them on the the last you know hits to get the kill. Um, so it, it leaves a lot to be desired. But if you can catch your opponent, it's not going to be you know, worth a whole lot of your time. Down smash, only really great for covering rolls and getting your opponent off stage. You're not going to get kills with it. Down tilt is the much better option. She has good tilts. Forward tilt, great poking option. Also, pretty fast pivot tilt as well. Uh, down tilt, get your opponent in the air. Up tilt, uh, spikes. It's a lot like Captain Falcon's. So you can, uh, you can kill your opponent off stage with a forward tilt. You can throw a, a, a down B bomb to uh, set them up for a up tilt spike. Um, I have been able to land that before. Um, so that's that's definitely an option. You know, your bombs are kind of kind of useless outside of, you know, using them for pressure on an off stage opponent. For some Samus characters, the bombs are the greatest thing in the world. For others, they're the worst thing in the world. And I honestly don't see any use in these bombs outside of throwing them off stage to get an opponent who has a bad, quick, you know, up special like a Marth or a Captain Falcon or something. Just throw some bombs out there. They'll have to keep re-jumping. And if they don't have a lot of verticality to the recovery, the bombs can get the gimp. Um, or you can set up, like I said, for the for, for the up tilt, which can kill even if you don't spike with it at some relatively uh, low percents. And, oh, if you're going to levitate in the air with your Hadouken, I will catch that one up smash. Thank you very much, Ryu. But, yeah, the bombs can help you recover a little bit. Gives, they give you a little bit of horizontal uh, oomph. So they can help you recover, but they're not going to help you uh, get many kill setups. They're not going to help you get damage. They're not going to help you avoid your opponent, even though they do change your momentum a little bit. Just with the floatiness of Samus, she is just so easy to get from the air, especially since she has basically no options returning from the air. Um, but... I mean, she's, she's got some good tilts. She's got a pretty decent combo game. Up tilt with the spike can chain into pretty much any of her aerials. Um, her forward air doesn't have a lot of kill power, but does pretty good damage. You can also use that from the ledge uh, pretty easily. Her up air is very, very good. That can kill at, at quite high percents if, if you can't land the screw attack for whatever reason. And you can link up airs into up airs and link that into your screw attack, which is very nice. And I don't know why I went for the dash attack there. I've been grabbing his focus attacks the entire game, and I just make a huge mistake right there. But um, the, the down air spikes, it's a lot like Martha Lucina's, except uh, you can spike for three of those frame, frames instead of just one active frame. Punish the landing on the Ryu there with the sweet spotted forward smash. And here we go against a Pac-Man. Well, I'm trying to space out with this there, but he is just having none of it. Trying to roll right in and out of me like he's a Delamitri song. Throwing fruit at me like a jerk. I'm a woman. You don't throw feet fruit at women. That's just not cool. Um, the back air is also a strong aerial. Uh, that's going to be your, your main kill aerial, um, which is quite nice. It doesn't you know, take too high of a percent to start killing with the back air. And, you know, it's quite easy to land. You're not going to be able to use it as an approach option or combo back airs into back airs, but it is going to be your kill aerial. So if you're trying to edge guard and, you know, they're not below you for the down air spike, the back air is going to be your option. So killing with Samus basically goes charge shot, screw attack, back air. And if you can land the forward smash sweet spot, more power to you. If you can get them with the, with the down air spike, that's nice. If you can hit him with the forward tilt spike or even just kill them. Uh, straight up with the with the with the up tilt, that is a uh, you know that's that's an option that's definitely available to you at higher percents. But she does still have trouble killing. I know when I say someone has trouble killing, someone's gonna say, oh no, she's amazing. If your opponent's at 200% and you hit with the fully charged forward smash, it's like no, you're just saying that she can kill in that instance. See the screw attack, great option. I just hit him with the final hit of screw attack and it killed 
at 130% with only 87% of rage. So screw attack is very strong and it's also a great out of shield option. So screw attack and charge shot are going to be your main kill moves along with your back air and offstage opponents. Down air if you can land the spike. Um, but outside of that, your your smash attacks aren't going to gain you much kills. Uh, your, your forward smash might be able to net you a few kills if you can get that sweet spot, but it has to be like directly in front of that explosion. A little bit above, a little bit below, and too close to the cannon, and that's going to be a sour spot, and you're almost never going to get a kill on a sour spot forward smash. They're going to have to be at quite high percents, or at least you to have a ton of rage in order to pull that off. So missiles are, are a good way to make your opponent approach. Um, she is a keep away character, kind of a turtle character as well. Punish that landing with the with the charge shot. When it comes to when you, oh here's the joke game of course against a a little Mac because little Macs are garbage. <laughs> even even with Samus, you know Samus has has very few good matchups. Little Mac is of course one of them, but her bad matchups is pretty much the entire rest of the cast because of how many weaknesses that she does have and how they're easy to exploit. But if you can keep your opponent at bay with missiles and there's he's trying to like air dodge my my down air and he just ends up getting himself killed because Low Mike ain't got much in the recovery department. So and I mean standard tried and true uh you know uh strategy against the little Mac. Stay at the ledge and just wait for him to kill himself or just throw him off stage and let gravity do your killing for you. Try to bait him out. Oh, I'm gonna do my charge shot, throw you off stage, and dare, and you're gone. Have fun in the netherworld there, little Mac. There's the final game against Captain Falcon to find out who is the true bounty hunter. You could try to, you know, zone your opponent out with missiles. Always get your charge shot ready. Um, your best setups for charge shot, I find, is not to do it as soon as you get it. Don't follow up a missile with a charge shot. This is the down air once again. Um, because way too many people try to do that. I see Samus's try to throw a heavy missile and then follow up with a charge shot. You can just shield it pretty much every single time. Um, but you can when you catch them in between jumps or after a jab, they won't see it coming to get that charge shot going. And oh! This, this bounty hunter duel didn't last as long as I thought. Almost got the JV3, but he hit me with a random falcon kick. So, Samus, she definitely has some fun, strong combo tools, and that screw attack is an awesome kill option. But when it comes to the neutral game, if she loses it, it's really hard to get it back, and she has trouble killing. So, Samus, not the greatest character in the world, but still fun. It has a lot of awesome tools at her disposal. Um, to, to get the job done. So let me know who you guys like to see me use in the future. Next week will be King DDD, and I will see you guys next time.